happy Saturday. Today is Dollar Holland Day. Um, I got to go to the Augusta one, which is a really huge store. So it is so many things there and I found so many great things. I hope you all are having a great um, Saturday. It is very warm today, like 51 degrees. So if you're here in Maine, you should enjoy that sunshine because you know how much we don't get it very much during the winter time. Um, so today's haul will probably be a big one. I know the last few hauls I've had some big hauls, but I can't help it. I am finding so many nice things for spring. I'm finding just a lot of different ideas of things. So I hope that, um, you're enjoying my videos. If so, please like and subscribe if you are, um, wanting to do that. And also comment if you... Um, have been enjoying my videos or if you would like to see um, other things besides Dollar Tree hauls and crafting. I know last week I did not do a craft video but I will be doing one this weekend and I will hopefully be able to post that on Sunday. So with that being said let's get into the haul. So today it's going to be random. random. I did not sort through everything, so I'm sorry about that. But I did find these gorgeous um, succulent flowers. They're just like on a little stick. Um, I just think that these are so pretty and they're going to look um, really great in a spring um, DIY, DIY that I have planned. So I got three of those and I just think they have lots of other colors, but these were going to look really good in the DIY that I have that I want to do. Um, I did get one of these rugs. Um, I'm going to be covering it up because I saw this, um, can't remember where I saw it, um, but on someone's YouTube they used one of these rugs and um, they made like a spring craft with it so I wanted to pick one of those up. And let's see, I picked up some of these wooden um, bird houses. These are really cute and fun to um, craft with as well. Um, sometimes they're a little rough, so you might have to sand them down, but I can't wait to um, get these painted up and put them in my spring DIY as well. And I was so excited to find these because I've seen other people haul them. I only found these two, but I just think that they're so adorable. They're like these little boxes and they have like little drawers and they're just so cute. I, well, someone put this one upside down in the store, but that's okay. I'll fix it. Um, but they're just so adorable. I just think that, um, I just think that they just are and you can stack them up on each other or you could do it separately but these would look cute in a bathroom they would look cute um, on your desk like your vanity or anything like that you could paint them if you didn't like the color um, I actually like this color and it kind of goes with um, some of my decor so that was why I was happy to find them and of course um, you know how much I like to use these jewel stickers. So I found this one. I just think it's cute. It's like a little flower with a pearl in the middle. I don't know if you can see that, but you remember how I made my, made a DIY with these and I just peeled them off and it just gives so much dimension on your project. And I think I had an, a I picked up a different one of those, but I can't find it right at this moment, but that's okay. Oops, here it is. So I found this one as well. It's just very unique. Um, I'm going to find something that I can use this with. I just think that it's um, kind of cool, and I'm hoping that it all comes in one strip. So it will be a little easier, but I will figure that out. But like I said, these are just really cute to do, um, to add dimension to your crafts. I also have seen a lot of, uh, some people haul this, but I've never seen it at any of my Dollar Trees, but I did find some today and it's in 
the Crafters Square. Uh, Crafters Square. Um, it is air dry clay, and I just thought this would be really cute for me and the kids to do to do something with. Um, you don't need to put it in the oven. It dries hard and you can paint it when it dries and it's easy to smooth. You just have to, um, let it dry for 24 hours. But I just thought it was a really cool find to pick up and it's 8.8 .8 ounces. So that's kind of a pretty big piece of clay. I did buy two of those. So that way me and the boys can do something with them. I don't know what, but we will find something. Um, let's see. I really like to pick these up. Uh, sometimes my um, nephew likes to paint them, but I'm actually going to use these for a um, Easter craft that I have. Um, so it's just this little bunny, this um, ceramic painting bunny, and it comes with paint, but I'm going to paint it with my own stuff. But I picked up two of those. They're just really cute. It's a really cute bunny. And I found this interesting um, floral ribbon. I've never really seen it at any of my Dollar Trees. Maybe you have. I don't know. But it kind of reminds me of birch. Um, like, I don't know if when you were a kid, but um, on birch trees, we used to take it off and write on it like paper because they call them paper birches but um this is what this reminds me of it reminds me of a birch tree and I just thought it was really cute and I'm gonna find something that I can craft with it because I just thought it was unique let's see what else do I have sorry about this so I did um, find in the Crafter Square section they have um, they have these uh, chalk writers, so they they work really well on um, on the chalkboard any chalkboard surface. Um, they also work well, um, you know, not just on um, chalkboards. You can use them on dry erase boards, windows, glass, mirrors, ceramic, and metal as well. So I got one to try it out. Um, I'm going to see how it works and I will let you know. I also found some glue pens. I like to have these just for um, certain crafts that I like to do. It's just that it's nice because it has like a precision tip. So if you want like a thin layer of glue, um, these work really nice for that. And that I found in Crafter Square as well. And... I always um, pick up the um, decorative nautical rope. I always pick this up because there's just so many crafts that you can do with this. So I was kind of out of it. So I picked up a few. And let's see. I'm so sorry about how unorganized I am today, but that's okay. Um... I did end up picking up more of these um, finger protectors because you all know whenever I do my crafts, like uh, my craft videos, I put them on my fingers, but I end up using the fingers that don't have these on them and I end up burning myself and get a really horrible blister. And so now I have more. So hopefully I use them. I am really excited um, that I found these because this is one of the crafts that I'm going to do I think for my video but I picked up these little um, decor wooden boxes I found them in the Valentine's section but um, I am going to use them for something else which I'm really excited but it's cute it has this like little bee on it and um, I just think it would be cute for my project that I'm doing. So, let's see here. And I did um, get two of those, so I was excited. I also found um, 
in the Valentine section, um, they have they had a whole bunch of different word wooden word flakes. I don't even know if it's really wood. It might be that fiberboard, but um, they're just like the wooden things that say like home. But I just thought this was really cute and I'm not going to use it for Valentine's Day, but I can definitely use it for many other projects. And I found this one. I like, um, I'm probably going to make like a sign or something with this and it will probably say like, hello spring or hello summer. But, um, I just think that these words, um, they're easy to paint. You may have to sand them a little, but, um, they're easy to work with and, I like to have them because you can always dress up a um, like a wreath or any door hanging or even any project you can just um, make it a little bit more festive with the with the writing and I found um, more of the wooden hearts you don't necessarily always have to use these for Valentine's Day but I did find them in the Valentine's section. This Dollar Tree had still had a lot of Valentine's Day stuff. So if you need um, Valentine's Day stuff, definitely the Augusta store is the one to go to because they had a lot of Valentine's stuff still. And different stuff that my typical dollar store doesn't have. But um, I just like to pick these up because I think that they're nice to work with. And I just like how... It's kind of like 3D-ish. And whenever I see these at any of the Dollar Trees, I always pick them up. There's those bamboo cutting boards. There is just endless craft ideas that you can do with these. I mean, you can definitely still use them as a cutting board. They would make um, a great cutting board for um, like during the summer like out at the grill or like out at the tape, like at a table setting, you could make little tiny, um, charcuterie boards with these. But, um, there is endless off, um, endless possibilities with these. So I always pick them up because, uh, they go pretty quickly in my Dollar Trees. I don't know about yours, but they do. Um, I picked up some, a new stencil today. I had never really seen these at, um, any of my Dollar Trees. I don't know if it's new to a Dollar Tree or not, but it was definitely new to mine. Um, it's like a self-adhesive stencil. So basically it holds it on, which is kind of awesome because you know how difficult it is sometimes when you're stenciling and it moves on you, but this like sticks right to the um to position it and you apply the paint and you remove the stencils and store the backing you keep this and you can you can reuse it over and over and over so i thought that was kind of cool and i found this really adorable rub-on transfers i just think that it was really cute and i really like the bottom part portion of it with this little flower scene i just think that it looks really nice and I don't work too much with gold but I just really liked it and the lettering is pretty awesome as well I don't know if you can see that because my lighting here Let's see that might be better um so yeah this these are and they're really easy to work with these um, rub-on transfers uh, they're very very easy you just basically um, it's like a transfer and you basically just put it on and then you take like a rubbing tool and it transfers it right onto any of your projects and it's very easy to do um, you don't need really any special tool um, to do it I mean you could um, pretty much do it with your hand, but it is easier if you do have like a little flat um, scraper or anything like that. It does help to, um, it kind of works a little better. And let's see, what else do I got? Um, I found the, sometimes at Dollar, well, at a lot of Dollar Trees, they have, um, 
they call them fat quarters. It's just like little fabric. And I saw this and I just had to pick it up. I just think it's really cute. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet, but I will definitely find something. But to find, let's see how much is on here. Let's see if it says um, 18 by 21 um, inches. That's, um, I mean, it's pretty big for a dollar 25. I know like at Walmart, you can sometimes get these like, little fat quarters, but I know that they're like probably two or three dollars. So, but I just thought it was really cute and they do have other, um, other kinds as well. I just like this one. And let's see. So I, um, I have been trying to look for these. I have bought some before, but they're like the little collapsible, collapsible storage containers. And this one is nine, um, nine by eight, which is pretty, I mean, they're fairly big. Um, but I got this to go into my bathroom. Um, I just think that it's cute. It's like pinkish, um, like rose color and it does have gold on it. But I just thought they were so adorable and they do hold quite a bit. I have some above my, um, like on a shelf. I keep the kids um, hats and gloves in it for the winter. Um, and then when winter um, is over, I tend to store like um, the spring stuff like umbrellas and other things like that in them. So I could find a use for them all season if I needed to. So, um, definitely they're like a good thing. And so what they do is they uncollapse. Oh, I could actually open one and you, um, to see, but it's a pretty good, it's, it's a nice find at Dollar Tree. And they used to only have them in like solid -y kind of dark colors, like black and gray, but now they're coming out with a lot more. So when you take it out, it looks like this. It has like the inside portion. And so basically well, all you do is you just unfold the box like this. And you put the cardboard in the bottom. And I mean, for $1.25, that's a pretty big box. And I just think that they're awesome. And plus... When you don't need them for whatever you're storing, they easily fold right back up. But I just think that it's awesome that they're coming out with different colors. I know that they also have the um, black and white checkers. Um, what other colors did they have? Like blue. And But that one just seemed to match my, my decor more than the other colors. So... Sorry, I dropped something. I'm just not organized today, I guess. I don't know. I just have a lot going on, <laughs> apparently. Um, so you know how I told you last week that I love um, office supplies. Well, I found a couple more things today, and I am I was super excited about them. And this one, it has like an alpaca on it. And it unfolds just like this. Oh my God, that's just so cute. It has like little alpacas on it and it's different um, post-its. And then it has like little note cards on it as well. And I just think that it's so cute. And it comes in like a little storing skate. Um, just folds right up into like another thing. And I, this is probably my favorite. I just think that it's so adorable. It has cherries on it. I mean, look at this. It's just adorable. I love that it has like these little cherries down here and the colors are just awesome. It's just cute. And I found these um, in a random spot. They had like a... Um, a section, what was that called? The section was called 
like last minute gifts or something and they had those in there and these were the only two that they had i'm sure they have a lot more but it is the drop brand which is pretty good um you all know that the dollar tree they call they carry that dot um brand there but i bought a lot of stuff and um everyone at my work really loved their little pick me up post it that I um, hauled last week with the book and it comes with a pen. They all loved them. Well, um, it's just nice to give somebody something for a little gift and a pick me up. And, you know, in this time, so much um, negativity goes on. So it's nice to have some positiveness. And um, I just think that to brighten someone's day, it makes my day. Uh, let's see. I think I will do... Oh, I still have other stuff in the stationery. Sorry. So, I just thought this was so cute. I don't know why, but it's just cute. It's a, like a little notebook. It says Ginge Cat. And I just think it was adorable. It's a little notebook, and it's in the shape of a cat. And down here on the bottom, it has a tail. I just think it's so cute. Like a little bookmark-like. And, um, it's like a bookmark and it looks like a tail. It's just adorable. I just think for $1.25, it's really cute. And on the inside, it says, hi, I'm Ginge. I like kisses and cherry cola and I dislike thunder and lightning. I just, I don't know. I just think it would be, it's a cute book to just have, um, around and, you know, you could put this in like a little gift basket um, for anyone that would like cat that likes cats or it's just a random find that I found and I just think it's adorable and that cat is adorable. So let's see, I don't think I have any more stationary stuff. Oh, I did. Um, my son likes to use these little backpacks for gym class because it's kind of nice. And so I did pick him up that, a new one, because I saw that. And so I guess, oh, I did find this as well for my nephew to try when he comes um, next weekend. It's um, magic water painting. I just thought it was cool and you, it's reusable and you draw and you draw with water, which is kind of cool. Um, they have like 16, it says 16 reusable color painting pages. So I just thought it was really cool and for him to, you know, for something for him to have here. Um, because anytime I get him stuff, he never wants to leave it here. He always wants to take it home. So I always try to have something new for him to have when he's here. So that way, at least he can enjoy the time that he's here. And he knows that at Ani's house, he gets a little treat. And I found this, which I haven't tried my ones that I hauled last week. I think it was last week. Maybe it was the week before. I'm not sure. But it was the um, exfoliating foot treatment mask. And... I am very excited about this because this has three pairs of foot treatment. So it's kind of exciting. It says that it peels away calluses and dead skin cells, softens cracked heels and rough dry feet, exfoliates and moisturizes. Convenient wearable mask socks. So I just thought it was cool that it comes with three and for $1.25 and you get three, that's pretty good. So I will definitely try these out. I want to, um, I've been wanting to try them out, my other ones out, but I just haven't had the time, but I will definitely try these and we'll let you know. Um, I just needed another, uh, grocery list. I love to have these sitting on my refrigerator because when we run out of something, you can just easily put it on there so we can just grab and go and... I don't have to, um, worry about, oh gosh, what did, did I forget anything or stuff like that. So, I mean, I always forget something at the grocery store. I don't know about you, but even if it's on the list, 
I still sometimes always there's always something that I need at the grocery store I feel like but what I like too is that the kids add stuff on here that they want and so that's kind of nice as well um but and it just goes on your refrigerator has a little magnet um and I just needed a new one and I just thought this was cute it has like a little whisk a, um salt and pepper like a water pitcher and it's just cute and it says grocery list on the top and I know that you guys have our um well if you are if you saw any of my craft videos recently I made um pillows out of tea towels um I found these and I just thought that they were so cute and I just instantly thought of making another pillow so I have some uh I still have some fill for it so I thought I was gonna make I think I'm gonna make pillows out of this for the summer and it just says life is sweet and it has watermelon on it and I just think that would be really cute um out on our summer deck with our um little uh chairs I just think it would I don't know I just I just thought they were adorable and it has watermelon and I just instantly thought of a, a pillow. So these are the only two that they had because if they had more I probably would have bought them. But I will be definitely looking for those and I found those in the, um, the home collection. Like over where they have like all the utensils and things like that. So uh, let's see. Oh yes. Um, so one of my sons loves the Axe shampoo. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but I just thought it was cool that at Dollar Tree, they had a bar of soap and it's Axe clean and fresh. I have gotten this for him before. I just haven't had it, found it in a really long time. And so I found it. And so I picked him one, him up one. And then my other son likes the Dove Men Plus Care. So I found one of those at there too. And these are, um, these are actually expensive. Well, kind of expensive. I think two or $3 at, um, Walmart. But, um, I just thought that it was a really great find to find at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. So I picked it up. I found these adorable little um, picture frames and they have like a little clip on them. I needed some new picture frames so that I can hang my um, kids pictures up at my desk at work. And so I just thought that these were adorable. So they will be coming to work with me. They had white ones. They had like brown, like a dark brown, I think. And they had one other color and I don't remember what it was. Maybe, um, maybe like a tan, I think, but I'm not sure. So Valentine's Day is on Monday. So I always like to get my kids like a little treat or whatever. So I, we always get these little box of chocolates. So I got each of them one of those. And I found these at the front of the store and I just thought that they were kind of cute and just something silly to put in put with their thing but it's called the flying sloth and I just thought it was a was cute and fun to do I'm always buying them little fun things like this they're older and I don't know if they like them but I don't really care because I buy them for them and I do see them play with them as stuff sometimes, but um, I just thought it was cute that it was a flying sloth. And so that is the end of today's haul. I hope you enjoyed today's haul and I hope you look for, I look forward to doing um, the spring crafts. It's so exciting to have spring coming um, and all of that and getting warmer and getting the flowers and it just brightens everything up. So I'm really excited about 
um, doing uh, spring crafts and to be able to bring some ideas for you as well. So with that being said, um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Saturday and please, um, I hope that it's nice and sunny where you are and I really hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye.